Hello and welcome. In our previous videos, we had seen how to use following sibling, preceding siblings, and fetch the sibling coming after and uh, before the particular element. In this video, we are going to learn how to use this child access and fetch all the children of a particular element. Coming to the example, there is this child book select all the book element node coming after of a particular element wherever this child function is being used. We will fetch the first name of student whose roll number is 593 using the child access. Okay, go over here, copy this child colon colon, go over to our mapping. Now remove this preceding. Instead of that, we'll add child colon colon first name. The roll number 593 student is Jasveer, so it has to return as Jasveer. Now validate the mapper. Go to test, click on execute. Yeah, it has returned as Jasveer. Go back to the designer. Come over here, we will fetch all the elements in that student node, okay, with the help of this star. This will basically return all the children of the current node. Remove this first name and, the, and place this star. Click on validate, validate the mapper. Go over to test. Uh, now we should get Jasveer Singh and Marks. Click on execute. Okay, uh, as you can see, we are getting Jasveer Singh and 90. Okay. If you want this to fetch along with the element nodes, then replace this value to copy. Click on validate. Go over to test. Click on execute. Now, as you can see, we are getting the uh, element nodes. That is first name and the value, last name and the value along with the namespace marks and the value. Go over to code and revert that copy to value. Now we will replace that star with the text and uh, node of. So the text of will select all the text nodes children of the current node. Okay. So what are the text nodes? In this the text nodes are just we sing and 90. All those are text nodes. These are the element nodes. And uh, these are the attribute nodes. Go to our integration. Replace this with text of. Validate the mapper. Click on execute. As you can see, the white spaces are because of that we are fetching the text nodes, so it is coming as white spaces. Now, coming to this node off, we'll fetch all the nodes of these children. Now, basically, you will get the text nodes of that elements. Now, you won't get the white spaces when I execute it, you will get the just piercing sing and 90. Now validate the mapper. Go over to test. Click on execute. Yeah, as I told, you will get the text node values over here when you use the node off. So we have seen how to use this child. You can uh, even go for select all the grandchildren of a particular children by clubbing the child access within a, another child access. We can uh, do like this child colon colon again child uh, and get the grandchildren of a particular element node. In our next video, we will learn how to use this descendants and ancestors. Please join us in that video.